All right, just a couple quick observations about the, uh, the evaluation board here, the MCP 3905. Um, first, first I notice that, uh, that the energy metering I see itself, which is right here on the board, um, is actually uh, pin for pin compatible with an updated version of this chip, which is the 3909. What's cool about the 3909 is that it also features um, SPI serial output and not just not just pulse output, which would be very very useful to read directly with uh, with the microcontroller and just get digital words representing the power consumption and not having to interpret some sort of pulse train. So that's one thought. Uh, another thought is these big capacitors up here are actually a part of the power supply for this entire board. There's no bulky current transformer or anything. This just uses the reactants of these capacitors here to power the entire board. Uh, Microchip has lots of cool data sheets on, on how this power supply works. But anyway, for, for customers like myself who are working on 120 volt RMS uh, power lines, uh, they recommend that you switch out this capacitor right here, uh, which is capacitor 16, for a uh, switch it out from a 0.01 microfarad capacitor for a 1 microfarad capacitor, and that just makes the whole thing work better on on that voltage. Now, this thing was incredibly difficult to get out of the board for some reason. I, I know we might have some solder ninjas out there who uh, who may beg to differ, but regardless, this took me like a good 20 minutes to pry out of the board and then clean up and re-solder back in, and that was kind of a pain. Especially since, if you look even closer here, we have all these other components here that are sitting in these nice little NIC sockets. And you can basically just yank these things in and out and replace them with uh, different values and so on and so forth. It's very cool for uh, for prototyping and so on. So people who have different power needs for this board are obviously going to be changing the values of these capacitors to get more juice, less juice, and use either you know a 220 line or a 120 line or whatnot. So maybe just for future design revision, or maybe I'm completely out of my mind, but uh, it'd be kind of cool to have that convenient feature of being able to pop these babies in and out. That's all I got.